Hello, Total Miner back here, and today is the second, ep the wait, um, the first episode of Surviving in the Dark on Easy Difficulty, and today I'm going to start out with some mining. But first of all, let's get you all up to date. So I've gotten prepared for a mining trip. Got some re some supplies. Got a water bottle for style, and I should have let this game load longer. And over here is my little cow farm I'm starting, and my wheat farm. I think I'm already start this. And I will show you what I've gathered. I will... Okay, over here is what I've gathered for the series off camera. This is the resources. And if you're wondering how I got all the string, I found an abandoned mine shaft, and that's what we are going to explore today. I found a mine cart, a chest, a mi and a mine cart, uh, a mine cart chest, and we are going to go look in that. I've already looked in it, but I decided to do it on camera to prove I'm not cheating or anything. So, yeah, I believe right down here is where you, you need to go. So, if this lag will stop, everything will be good. So, might as well pull out my sword. Get ready for any monsters. So, right. First, I need to... Whoa. This is a lot of lag. I'm going to go straight to the minecart. As you can see, there's a bunch of redstone and lapis. I think if we go down here, it's where the mine cart is. There it is, up ahead. Then we'll get to our mining part of this adventure. So, uh, there's my the iron pickaxe I wanted and some melon seeds. Some lapis to top it off, and it would be nice to have this. And just grab the rails. For now. No. Redstone is going to be needed because I plan on doing a lot of redstone contrap contraptions in this series for my underground bases and secret passageways and stuff like that. So just gonna collect a lot of this. Redstone and coal because I have no torches. <laughs> Should have thought about that. Okay. After I mine this, I am going to try to find as much iron as I can. Let's just hope this lag stops. I mean, it can't last too much longer. So. For my computer, Minecraft takes a while for the whole world to generate. I usually leave it out for like 10, 20 minutes, but I don't have time because right now is probably the only time where the house I'm at will be quiet and I really want to get this video in. I don't have time because in like 20 minutes, we're, I'm having some vi visitors, so yeah. Yeah, if you guys have any um, ideas, I, I really don't know what for I'm going to build with the redstone I find first. So, just uh, tell me if there's anything you want me to build specifically, and I will uh, consider your idea. Whoa. Whoa. So... But I've really been concentrating on the uh, the uh, food asset in this series right now. So I'm going to do a lot of uh, whoa, work on getting food off camera. Just going to say that. I'm going to 
make a farm because all that stuff's probably going to be kind of boring and it always takes forever. Of course I will take some time to show you me working on it, maybe one or two episodes, but it's not going to be something I do like every episode. Yes, this series I want it to be nice and uh, somewhat simple and just uh, surviving and having a good time doing it. So, yeah. There's the gold. And, uh, okay. I'm not really up for all this mining by lava currently. Wait, wait, is that diamond? No, I don't think so. So, I think I'm going to come back to this area, but I'll just grab this gold anyway. Because what I'm really looking for is uh, iron, not diamonds, even though where I am, there is diamonds on this level. So, I'm about to kill a zombie. Skeletons. And I hear zo uh, a zombie. Give me your experience. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the upper level of this abandoned mine shaft because I don't think we should worry about all this right now. Um, what did I have in my hand? Oh, pickaxe. Right. Um, there's so much lava, I'm just not feeling safe right over here. Should probably light up this area. Man, I, I can't I can't imagine doing this in real life, so exploring a cave and monsters being everywhere. <laughs> I doubt I do it in real life, honestly, if you want my honest opinion. Ooh, a little bat. Uh, uh bye little bat. Ooh, these mushrooms might be helpful. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. I'll grab that. I'm gonna grab that piece of iron off camera because I don't want to. I just want to get some easy to get stuff right now. Let's get some work done. Hopefully, I can still get a good amount of video video footage before I have to uh, turn this camera off. Whoa. One thing I love about lapis is it gives you a lot of experience. Same with redstone. No, not lapis, excuse me. Redstone. It's like, gives a lot of experience and it's very useful. Especially if you're going to protect your house or if you're going to make a mob grinder and uh, get bones or something. Because I hopefully will be able to do that if I find a skeleton spawner. I'm not, I think I'll make an ex ex experience uh, grinder instead, though. Um, but I'll look up to the idea. Let's see. Oh, gold! I think I'll think I'll go down there for a second. And whoa! What in the world? Um. Okay, I'm gonna guess should be at least four pieces. And. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. Here. 
Okay, sorry, there's a phone call. No. Let's get back on track. And so, the mission continues. Oh! Did I do this? Oh, hi, Batty. Bat again. So much area to light up. One thing. I don't like doing. Using this many torches. Look at the little bat. Okay. What's behind here? Oh, this is why I blocked it up. Let's take a quick peek, see if there's any diamonds down there. That would be nice. Diamonds on first episode. <laughs> Oh, I find I found this awesome Minecraft seed. I'm going to have to uh, share with all of you guys. I forgot what it's called right now, but I'll uh, have to uh, go and check it out because I played it on another, uh, a different computer, so I don't have the seed memorized or anything. So I'll write that down. And I'll show you it because like the, there's a bunch of biomes that are connected and. Uh, it's just a, there's a village, and after playing Minecraft for as long as some people do, you notice that living in a, a, vill a village is a bad idea unless you exterminate all the villagers. I'm just going to tell everybody out there that. Because I was playing on hard, and there was a zombie invasion or something like that. And it was bad. And I mean really, really bad. So, yeah. Be careful when you go to villages. That's the lesson. Now, for some reason, I'm looking for diamonds. <laughs> this is what happens when you go into deep, dark caves looking for iron. You look for diamonds instead. One thing is, in Minecraft, everybody, a lot of people just go like, Oh, I'm going to get diamonds, get diamonds, got to get diamonds, or something like that. And they just r rush straight to getting a pickaxe and go mining, or something. I say that's a terrible idea. So. Because a lot of people do that. Because every, because a lot, most of the time, a lot of people in this game just go straight for diamonds. And I don't blame them. Diamonds are a very useful resource in this game. And anybody who disagrees uh, should go uh, go read a pamphlet about diamonds in this game. I'm pretty sure they have at least one or two of those. Oh, I, I was just here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello? Any diamonds down there? I'll talk to the lava later. Aha. Oh, I... Where'd I lay my water? Oh yeah, that's the exit. <clears throat> One thing I hate about these abandoned mine shafts, if you get, lo if you get lost, you get lost. <laughs> What's up here? Oh. Oh, well. Let's check how much iron I have. Uh, only 11, so. Where in the world did I put that water? Okay. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. Uh, I was down here. That's where the redstone and coal was. So, okay, next video I'll continue this mining journey. Until then, I'll see you next time. And this is Total Miner signing out. Please like and subscribe. And, uh, bye.